Hi, I'm Alan, and I am in TTM Limbo. Um, I got one return in January, and so far I've had one return this month. The return I had in January was fairly monumental, however. Um, I was really kind of surprised I got it back so soon. Uh, I hooked up with somebody on um, TTM Autographs Galore on Facebook, and he graciously supplied me with the address for this uh, gentleman. And uh, I sent him off a card, and it came back signed. It is Apollo 13 astronaut Fred Hayes. He inscribed it uh, Apollo 13. So that is, like I said, fairly uh, monumental and historical. So I'm very uh, happy to, to add this to my collection. Then the return I got this month, um, I noticed, I saw on Facebook, I think it was his granddaughter, uh, daughter or granddaughter, um, had, uh, in, was informing people that he really enjoyed getting band mail and signing autographs. You know, I hadn't planned to send to him, but uh, I said, yeah. You know, if someone's going to reach out like that, I'm definitely, I'm definitely in. So I uh, uh, purchased a quick, a, a card quick on eBay, uh, a cheap card on eBay, and got it back quickly and sent it out to him. And it came back the other day. It's uh, Dave Justy, shown here on a Padres card in '69, but he never actually played for the Padres. He uh, went to the Cardinals this year uh, in '69, and then he played for the. The Pirates. He's probably best known for playing for the Pirates. He was with the the Astros before that. And I will uh, post his address in the description in case anybody else out there wants to to send him a card and a, and a note. That reminded me of a an experience I had at Kauffman Stadium. The year was 2010, and it was uh, Greg Holland's first year. He just made his debut, Major League debut. And we were, uh, a bunch of us were waiting uh, in the autograph area uh, adjacent to the Royals parking lot. And the, the, their players are really hit and miss, uh, more miss than hit uh, about signing there. They just usually wave and, and go on to their cars. But uh, this was after Holland made his debut, uh, shortly after. And he, he walked over, held out his uh, hands and said, Anybody got any Greg Holland stuff they want signed? And of course, n nobody did. Very few people there had actually even heard of him. Um, and he started to walk away. And I happened to have a, a scorecard. And I said, uh, I said, hey, you know, if you're going to make the effort to come over and do that, I, I, I want your autograph. And so he signed. Um, it's, it was actually the autograph page in the score book or scorecard, Game Day Magazine. So he signed it for me. And I, you know, I prefer cards, so when I got home, I, uh, I made a card out of it, Greg Holland. And uh, subsequently, I got his autograph on a real card, but uh, that was pretty cool of him to do that. You don't see that very often. Well, that's all I have for you. Uh, hopefully, my luck will get better uh, as the, you know, the year proceeds, but if, if so, I'll... I'll uh, be seeing you again. I want to wish you uh, peace, love, and understanding.